Yeah! What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Back to another Foul Friday that's going up on a Sunday. <laughs> oh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. He's excited to see y'all. Like always, we got Freddie home for Father's Day. Uh-huh. Yes, it is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all of y'all. Daddy's out there like myself. Hope y'all are kicked back, enjoying a beverage, grilling, chilling on the lake, in the backyard, in the pool, staying cool because it's hot outside. That's why we're inside today. First off, before we get started in today's video, this has been a very, very, very huge question, hot topic. A lot of people getting the first 12 gauges and a lot of people wanting to upgrade their chokes. Now, we all know that chokes are not cheap. And we're gonna get into that. But first, it being Father's Day, Ducks Waterfowl, uh-huh, they're doing a big old sale over at DucksWaterfowl.com for Father's Day only through Sunday, through the 20th, 20% 20 off the entire site. I will link it at the top of the description down below. Go catch this sale while it lasts. Duck calls, goose calls, seasonings, apparel, headwear, everything, 20% off. All right, I promised in the last video that I'd be doing a Foul Friday out here in the shop in the old flower chair, uh-huh. It's hot. So uh, today we're gonna keep it very, very simple. Number one, set, good. Hi, Freddy Rico. So good to have Freddy home. So number one, we're not gonna be shooting today. This is why. Uh, number one, ammo's too expensive just to waste. Um, I'm number two. I'm trying to conserve the ammo that I have uh, For this coming season, especially Especially I mean both my lead and my steel. So let's get into it Another reason why I don't need to shoot today and pattern these chokes that I'm going to talk about Is because we've done it before and we've done it many times and not only that I have uh, Done a lot of shooting with all these chokes that I'm getting ready to talk about. That being said, number one, when you buy your gun and you got a stock choke in there, here's my justification. I'm gonna get it out of the way directly. If you are new to shotgunning, okay, you do not have to go out and buy a $100 choke. You do not have to go out and buy a choke at all. Most guns come with literally a plethora of stock chokes now that being said in waterfowl hunting we have to use steel steel and lead shot are two different things uh, lead shot is very uh, soft compared to steel uh, it patterns much better especially out of the tighter the choke the better lead performs compared to steel and this is what i'm getting at if you're new to shotgunning and you don't have your dead eye down yet you need to go get you need to go get used to your gun and you need to get used to shooting and you need to better your shooting skills maybe that's through you know dove hunting and and skeet shooting and, and throwing clays around in the backyard or whatever uh, but first thing is before you just go waste your money get good at wielding your gun and aiming the same every time uh, I'm just going to tell you, I keep both of my eyes open. Um, it helps me a, a lot. I do not shut. It seems like whenever I try to shut my left eye and look with my right, I end up missing pretty badly. So I have trained myself over the last few years to keep both eyes open. That being said, um, I have had a ton of questions about shot size. And uh, we're going to get into that here. Number one. So I'm just going to talk about steel shot only because most of the questions I have about chokes and if it's, you know, which one's most affordable, which one performs best, hey, I want to go to a full choke. Number one, do not go to a full choke until you're ready. And that's with practice. If you just buy a gun and get a full choke, I'm going to tell you out of experience, I probably, if it would have been five plus years ago, and I would have had a full choke in, I wouldn't have shot as good as I do today, if that makes any sense. Full chokes do require some practice. You have to be on because your pattern is smaller, okay? So don't just think that, 
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna go spend a hundred dollars on this choke, and I'm just gonna become a better shooter. Don't waste your money. Become a better shooter before you spend money that you don't need to. That's number one. Uh, I know I went through number one, two, three quite a few times here, but I'm kind of, but I'm kind of blabbing and just kind of going through it because, again, I've spent so much money on different chokes. Now, shot size, shot size, shot size, guys um t shot is hard on shit i'm just gonna tell you right now it is hard on stuff and you don't necessarily there is not many uh choke brands out there that allow t shot um especially full chokes so when we start getting into full chokes when you buy a choke on the bottom of it on the side it's going to give a um a bore diameter and usually like full chokes are 0 0.700 and under so 0 0.695 uh, 0 0.690 some of the real tight like turkey extra full chokes are like 0 0.685 or something right um, now those chokes are not made for steel shot and most of them should specify that number one uh, so turkey hunting we're usually going to use lead so it I'm, I just wanted to get out of the way because a lot of people are like, hey, Bobby, I bought this choke. Can I run BB through it? Guys, most aftermarket choke companies are going to specify this only allows up to BB size steel shot. Okay? So make sure when you're buying um, a choke, you, you buy something that allows what you want to shoot. Because steel, again, I'm going to beat into your heads. Is much different from lead. Um, preferably, I'm going to go through my, you know, what, what I like. I love the Carlson Cremator. It's 50 bucks compared to 100 bucks. I, I bought a Kix High Flyer, which was around $100, somewhere around there. I think it was actually over $100. And it's a, uh, it's not an extra full, it's just a full. And I love it. I do like that choke a bunch. But $100 compared to 50 bucks. I don't see a lot of difference out of the two of them, to be quite honest. But I do like Kicks High Flyers, and I do like Carlson Cremator Fulls, both being full chokes. Now that being said, I do not like to run BB size or anything bigger. So BB, T-Shot, F-Shot, all that stuff, absolutely not when you're talking about steel. I like number two. I can see a difference just shooting birds, pigeons, it doesn't... Well, not pigeons, sorry. Ducks and geese uh, with steel shot. Number two, patterns the best out of my full choke. Now, I believe the Carlson Cremator Full is a .700. I believe you'll have to go to their website and look. Uh, but a number two shot, I've patterned it before. Beautiful. When I went to a BB, started getting a little sporadic. We had big holes here and there because... Like I said earlier, when you up the shot size in steel with a full choke, so full choke means more restriction. You're trying to stuff bigger pieces of steel that doesn't bend, it doesn't, um, it's not a soft metal like lead. It's just going to be rammed through that hole and it's going to bind up and come out all crazy. The smaller the shot size, the better it will pattern out of a full choke i hope i said that right the smaller the shot size especially and i'm talking about steel the smaller the shot size the better it should pattern out of a full choke a lot of people are wanting to go to full chokes just because i've been preaching it guys a full choke um it's restrictive to put more pellets on target okay so you want more pellets in a smaller area to hit and kill whatever you're shooting at better, right? So that being said, if you're going skeet shooting, probably ought to use a full choke to get used to it. But that being said, if you're shooting seven and a half, seven and a half shot lead out of that same choke, it's going to pattern much better rather than BB or number two steel shot. Get what I'm saying? So um you'll get used to the choke but it's still going to pattern a lot better than what you're going to be shooting at ducks and geese so long story short i know i've just been going here but 
I've had a ton, I mean, I mean thousands of people in the last year ask me what choke they should buy. And um, number one, become a good, become a better shot before you go spend the money. Uh, just like when you're a beginner, you don't have to go buy the $2,000 shotgun. And you shouldn't, you know. And if you think you need to, you don't. I hope I covered about everything. I think the one thing about um, stock chokes, just be careful what you're shooting through them. Make sure you take them out and you read on that choke what it says it's approved for. Because some of those stock chokes, some of them are only for lead shot. Some of them are only for, they're for steel shot, but only up to number two shot size. Again, I'm done blabbing. Um, I hope I answered. If you have, I guess if you guys have anything to add to this, like always, please feel free to add it down below. Actually, right now, I want everybody to go down there. Please, uh, if you've never dropped a comment, please do so right now because I feel like literally chokes, it, it is the biggest, most asked question that I have on a regular basis. I don't know why. Everybody's interested in chokes. But right now, go drop a comment down below and just tell us all what is your favorite go-to choke. What is it? What brand? Full? Mid-range? Modified? Open cylinder? What is it? I don't think there's any wrong answer, so don't feel like just because you don't shoot a full, you're not cool. Back uh, when I first started the channel, the first year and a half, I had the old TriStar 12 gauge and I had an open cylinder 3599 Carlson, it wasn't a cremator, just a regular Carlson non-ported choke, open cylinder. It was an extended, you know, and uh, I did some of the best shooting in my life. I learned how to shoot that year better than I ever had. And uh, so I can tell you that improved cylinder with a number two shot, anything 40 yards, 45 and under, I mean, it was stone dead. But I don't know, I guess my confidence has just gotten higher in the past few years and I've gotten used to the full choke. But I want to add this as well before I get up here. Guys, don't think you need F shot. I have seen people run F shot, T shot, whatever, just huge shot out of chokes that are 0 0.690, 690 and less. Okay? That is not smart. I've I have witnessed people bulge their barrels because they're using too big of a shot. It is not safe. You're going to end up blowing. You're going to want one of two things. You're going to end up blowing your barrel up, which is extremely dangerous. Or number two, you're going to end up completely just blowing the choke out of the end of the gun and flaring the end of the gun a little bit. So you're going to strip all them threads out and everything else. So don't get cocky with big shot size. Honestly, the bigger the shot size doesn't mean anything. I, I'm looking at how many pellets can I put on target to hit it. And what I found again, number two steel patterns the best, kills the best. I'm talking geese, I'm talking ducks. Um, I use number two, I guess when teal hunting, I use about a number four shot. Ducks, I love number two. Lessers, specs, snow geese especially, number two. There's sometimes when I go up north and hunt honkers only, I'll throw in a BB. Or I'll use BB when maybe I'm out of number two shot. But that's it. I still would probably prefer a number three for geese, ducks, over a BB, if that makes any sense, because I know it's gonna pattern better. I'm done blabbing. Whew, oh, where'd my glasses go? Darn it. <laughs> it is hot. Well, I am gonna let you guys go. All of the fathers out there, remember mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, get your dad something. Head on over to Ducks Waterfowl. Pick him up some. Everything's on sale 20% off through Sunday. Don't miss this sale. I will link it at the top of the description down below. But uh, I hope I covered everything. Again, if you have any other questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. Uh, I need video recommendations. If you guys like these Foul Fridays and you want to learn more stuff, you, you have good questions, give me video ideas as well down below. I read all the comments. I go through them nonstop. I appreciate you.
But thank y'all for being here. Until next time.